good morning. How y'all doing? What's up, what's up, what's up? It's who Miss T from What Truly Toy. Because I could truly only be who me. So before we get started, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your peeps in these streets. Share with your co-workers. The ones you like, the ones you don't, your cousins. Hey cousins, your nieces, your nephews. Hey nieces, hey nephews. Love you guys. Hey. So, um, something that uh, has been coming up in my feed uh, lately is grief and how people deal with grief, you know. Um, grief is something that everybody goes through in different ways. And um, one thing I just wanted to throw out there to, you know, because someone asked me about and or said to me, you know, you pretty, you went through this really strong, very, you know, amazing. That's what was said. I'm like, really? You know, don't even realize it. Why? Because I serve a mighty, mighty, mighty God. So I was watching the young man DC fly, you know, hard pours for him and his family. But one thing that draw me to him was how much he prayed for his family. I don't know if any of you have watched him before or not. But um, every time I would watch uh, his baby mama, girlfriend, love of his life, his dumpling. Uh, anytime you watched him with her, he always what prayed. I thought that was so magnificent. Uh, at baby showers, when they had baby, when the babies came into the world, gender reveals before they ate. Um, anything he did, he stopped and prayed, which is something that um, my husband used to do for us all the time. He always was a prayer. He was a prayer warrior. Love, love, love that about DC. Is they that means that he is a man after God's own heart. So people don't understand when you're a true person, a true man of God. They don't understand how you can handle things because people always want to see you fall down. They want to see you, oh, ooh, ooh, oh. Then they feel like that's the only way you're supposed to grieve. Grief is one of these things that just hit you 20 million different ways. And there's so many different stages. Trust me, I know I went through it and, it, it, and still going through it. It doesn't stop. It's just something that you you know, learn to deal with and understand when, whether it's 8 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock at night, when it hit you, it hit you, you cried, you remembered, all that. And, um, just hearing people say, oh, he's weird, he's strange, we're hired. No, you don't know the Lord that he served. You don't know the God that he served. Because the God that he served says that they will meet again. And be, after, you know, and knowing how I've watched him, he's very funny. He's a, a hilarious, you know, a lot of young people can be fun. A lot of all of us, we're funny. If you, you know, you're not too uptight, you're funny. You just say funny stuff. <laughs> I think I'm pretty funny too, y'all. <laughs> but um, because he serves a mighty, mighty God, I love watching him go through this to let me know that that's what you're supposed to do. You know, hold your head up. He know he gonna meet again. His heart is aching. Nobody don't know what happens behind closed doors when you're away from everybody. But when you present yourself, the word of God clearly say, when you present yourself, you present yourself as if you know who, whose you are and who you are. And that's what that man is presenting, who he is and whose he is. He is a true child of God to me from what I see. Because that man is holding his head up and he showed his kids nothing but love for his, his their mom. And, I mean, to me, that's what I see. You know, you have good, you have bad, but that man loved her and he put her away to me to the utmost respect. So, you know, I just wanted to drop that in y'all spirit. And I, I wanted to say that because after going through my whole ordeal, I had one of my great nieces say to me, Auntie Toy, I love it. Auntie Toy. Auntie Toy, this didn't feel like a funeral. It felt more like a concert. And to me, that was confirmation that I did what needed to be done for my husband. I did what needed to be done. Why? Because when you see me, you say, you don't know where that person's going. I know where my husband's going, just like he know where she's going. So he celebrated celebration of life. That was celebration. As hard as it is for you to let somebody go, as hard as it is for you to let somebody go, you know that they in a better place than here with us. That's what my understanding of the word of God is. So I don't really know how y'all take it, but as for me, Miss T, me, I love the fact of knowing that they are not here in this world so 
suffering anymore and they preparing when we arrive there that's my understanding but you know so those people that are like oh you don't grieve right oh you didn't cry you wanted to see me fall all out on the ground you wanted to see that yes those moments happen let's not get it twisted they're there but I do believe that that man serves a mighty, mighty God. And he put up a strong front. I loved it. That was called truly. The truly whole armor of, of God. Because that's what that man put up to me. So, you know, for those of you who are out there that don't know yet. When you go through grief. When you fall out on the ground. Yeah, it's hurtful to know that you're losing someone. And those moments come and go. But then in the midst of that, you combat that by understanding where they're going. And that they're in a better place and they're not suffering anymore. That's how I understand this. That's how I make it through each and every day. As much as I would love to have my husband here with me as I try to figure out this crazy world that he protected me in and prayed for me. In. Woo! And he covered me in. My God, thank you, Jesus. You know, I know that he's not in, he's not here suffering anymore. He don't got to worry no more. And that God said, good job, my good and faithful servant. So, just wanted to talk a little bit about grief because it's so weird watching people talk about how he's supposed to act <laughs> so you know to all of those out there you know make sure that you keep watching your girl your girl your girl is who missed t in these streets and she posted up uh, uh, get up